Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Stacey, for anyone who is new here and joining me today, thank you so much. I'm gonna get all the technical stuff out of the way first. Um, if you don't already, please follow me on my Instagram, which should come up now because I know how to do that, and on my Twitter and on my Facebook page as well. Um, I do a lot more interactive things on my other social media platforms. It's not just me talking to a camera, so please join me there. On Sundays, I do live Get Ready With Me's on my Instagram at 9.30 a.m. GMT. So today's video is actually a request from my Instagram. On Sunday I did this makeup and I tried a new hack and I'm sure you must have seen already where people use powder before their foundation to combat oiliness but the way that I'd seen it done looks super super cakey and it kind of put me off but on Sunday I was like oh let me try and see if I can find a way that makes it still look really natural with the style of makeup that I do because we all know I'm about believable brown beauty so um, I did it and it worked really well. And then um, some of my followers, I hate that word followers, but you know what I mean? The people that are like part of my crew on my Instagram asked me to do the video. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The look's gonna be like quite cool again. It seems to be a bit of a thing or a trend for me at the moment, but it's cool toned eyes and a cool toned mouth and um, it's a smoky eye as well. And it's just, yeah, it was fun to do on Sunday and I'm gonna enjoy recreating it for you now. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, please keep watching. Also, um, on my last video about the red lipstick, and if you haven't watched it, maybe you should, but um, I asked people about my editing style because I changed it for that video and most people prefer the way that I was doing it initially. And for those of you who commented and said that you liked the new way that I was doing it, I think what I'll do is I'll put timestamps in my description box so then if you just want to look at particular parts of the makeup, you can do that maybe that would be a happy compromise for everyone. So let's get into the makeup. I'm just gonna give a disclaimer. I've got the windows open because it's really warm in the flat and I don't wanna change my jumper because then my video is gonna look inconsistent. So if it's really noisy, that's the reason why. I will try and edit that in post-production so you hear more of my voice and less of like cars and sirens going by. So, right, first of all, we're gonna go into skin. And I'm using this. I don't think I've shown this on the channel yet, but I have started to do retinol treatments like just use a retinol cream at night um, once or twice a week and so for that reason I now have to start using sunscreen so this is going to make me look like Casper the ghost but do not fear I will resolve this I don't know why they don't make sunscreens in brown people's colours it's not only European people that use retinol cream so it's a bit sad because then when I um, wear sunscreen I have to wear makeup I can't just put this on and then go because who wants to look like this going out? So I'm going to rub that in and make sure that I cover my face. I forgot to say um, I had just used uh, On Release Moisturiser and Fix Plus as my skin prep today and a little bit of lip balm. We can agree this is a really beautiful look on me. So yeah. Now I'm going to move on to my brows and get them locked in place before we start the rest of the makeup. So I'm using my NYX um, Espresso Micro Brow Pencil and I'm just brushing up my brows. First of all, Struggalina and then the good brow. And then I'm gonna fill those in. And then just do this one too. Then I'm taking my Illamasqua brow gel and I'm just going to set those in place. So the hack is basically using this type of powder, a loose translucent powder, underneath your foundation and that is to prevent your skin from becoming so oily. Just wait for the helicopter. Should have worn a t-shirt. But it was so grey before. Basically my flat's like a greenhouse. As soon as the sun comes out it just gets roasting in here and it was cold this morning so that's why I'm wearing a jumper but now it's really hot and I started this video and I can't change so I just have to be hot and have noise. But anyway beside the point right back to the makeup. Yes using the powder underneath the foundation. People use beauty blenders and they really pack it onto their skin and I was just like mm, I don't know if I really want to look like that because it does look really cakey. So I am trying this, this is, I use this brush quite a lot actually, it's my Stila number 21 brush and I'm going to take some of the Cover Effects powder and then just kind of stamp it into the areas where I know I get shiny 
um, I, I don't know if it was on Sunday's video or recently anyway, I've mentioned the YSL Blur Primer. Oh, it was on Sunday. Um, basically, any primer that has that silicone-y type of feel on my skin doesn't work. It just makes me look more oily. So a lot of the time I, I don't use primer because I feel like it makes my skin look shinier, faster. But when I did this on Sunday, I was really pleasantly surprised. So I'm going to do this again today and then... You can just always watch the video if you want to see how it's done. So I'm literally just pressing that into my face and the areas that I get shiny. I promise you I will not look like this by the end of the makeup. This is just so beautiful what's happening to me right now of this grey um, grey sun protection and then a dry powdery face. But stick with me, it gets good. Right, I'm using my um, MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Duo and the colour I use is Burnt Coral just around my mouth for any discoloration. I don't really have that much, but sometimes if I'm feeling extra like today, I like to do this here. Just a goatee. This is mostly where I have my discoloration, so I'll just do it there. And this is an old brush from Gemma Kid, but any flat synthetic brush will do the job and just buff this in to my mouth area then next I'm going to do my concealer or start my concealer so I'm going to pop this on first and I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand and just hitting all the dark areas and my eye bags I'm taking some more of the concealer and I'm taking a 242 brush from MAC, it's just a flat brush just to carve out my brows a tiny bit and then do the same on the other brow hmm, a few rogue hairs on this side I need to get those tonight and then I'm taking a 224 and I'm just going to blend the edge of that away So now going to move on to my foundation. I'm loving this combination at the moment. It's the, wait for the van, welcome to my life. Um, I'm loving this combination at the moment. It's the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick and the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. I use Warm Almond in the Hourglass and Chestnut in um, the Bobbi Brown. And I use the Hourglass one just in the center of my face so it's really yellow. I really like this foundation. I was sent it in PR, but it is really good. Then I go back to that flat synthetic brush and just work this in. It's just got the right amount of yellow for my skin, it's so nice. And I know this looks super yellow, and it does for two reasons, because it is a very yellow foundation, but also having this grey here and here was just going to accentuate how yellow this looks but trust me it works really well my chest is really yellow so when you see me like here you can see it's very yellow so it works really well that being said the perimeter of my face is darker so this foundation would never work on my jawline so that's why I use the bobby brown it's a bit redder and I literally just pop this on and on my forehead and now I have to start wearing makeup on my forehead because I use sunscreen so my face is like a biscuit like a custard cream with the two biscuits here and then the filling in the middle that's basically what my skin's like so I go back to the Gemma Kid brush and literally just blend the warmer foundation up into the yellower one really make sure you concentrate on your jawline and blending all of this together because it shouldn't look like two different skin tones. If it does, you need to blend more. So now that my skin's all blended together, we can go in and combat the dark circles. I'm taking a 224 from MAC and literally just blending my concealer in now. So 
So now I've finished my skin. I haven't set anything yet, but I always do that at the end after I tweak it a little bit. I'm gonna move on to eyes now. And I'm using this palette from Beauty Pie. It's probably got lots of finger marks on it, but it's really lovely. And um, it's a little smoky eye palette. And I used this on Sunday and I was really su like pleasantly surprised just because it's a brand I don't really know. So I'm gonna use this color here. Um, see if I can get my coordination right. This color here called Black Violet. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit of this one and that one is called Starry Eyed. Yes, Starry Eyed and a little bit of champagne as well. So I'm going to take, what brush is this? A 200 brush from Real Techniques, which is quite a big um, blending brush. And I'm switching up to a slightly smaller mirror so that I can see a bit better. And I'm just going to start this smoky eye. So I'm just pressing this onto my lid. You probably noticed I didn't use a primer underneath because I don't always use eye primers um, underneath my shadows. I never really have had a problem with makeup not staying on my eyes. So if I use primers, it's usually for color more than anything else, but they always stay really well on me. And I love concealer as a base, so I tend to use that a lot. So I'm just blending that up into my crease. This colour is literally like um, a really dark aubergine. It's almost black, but it's got a slightly purpley tone to it as well. And it doesn't have much fallout, which I've noticed too. So yeah, it's a good, um, good little palette, this one. I'm taking a 231 from Zoeva. It's a slightly smaller blending brush, and I'm just going to work through the crease a bit more and go back to the 200 and go over the top of that again then I'm taking a 239 in the same shadow and just going really close to the lash line because the fluffy brush isn't depositing enough colour there. So I'm going to use a flat one and just stamp this right down there. Then I'm going to do the same on my other eye. Just start with the Real Techniques brush again. Just check that they're the same strength. And this eye is still much softer. Just keep building up that intensity. Then the 239 and just work that lash line again. Then I'm taking a clean 217 and literally just blending the edges of the shadow. Then I'm taking the, what's this, a 2-3? Yes, then I'm taking the 2-3-1 again from Zoeva. And I'm just going to use that to smoke out my lower lash line. Oh no, too big. Ooh, and tickly. So I'm gonna go back to my 2-3-9 actually. Now I'll take that clean 2-1-7 again and just blend the edges away. Then I'm taking some black coal pencil. This is Squid um, Modern Kajal Twist Eyeliner from MAC, but you can just use any black coal pencil. And I'm literally just putting it on the outer corner of my eye. But I'm connecting it to the bottom as well. So doing like the outer quarter of my lower lash line and just connecting those two together. So you get like a V on the corner of the eye. So it's not a full liner at all. Then I take a 219 from MAC um, smudging brush and just blend that away. Then 
And then just to make sure it's really soft, I go back over it with the shadow. So you can't really see it, but it's there, you know? Then I take the, um, and then I take the cold pencil and run it inside my eye as well. And then repeat on the other eye. Okay, so now that's done, um, I'm gonna move on to the next part of the eye makeup. Then I took this color, which was uh, starry eyed here. And I used my finger for this part of the makeup and literally just put it in on top of the aubergine color. These eyeshadows, they do blend so nicely. Let's make sure that's the same intensity. This one's a bit stronger. Then I'm gonna take the Zoeva brush and just blend the edge of this. Then I'm taking a 266 with the champagne colour, which is this one here. And I'm just going to create a super highlight on my eye. And blend that in with my finger. Yeah. And the same on this side. There's been no police siren today, guys. I wonder what's going on. And then I use the same colour, um, underneath there's a little spotlight, so tuck it under my lashes and just stamp it there. And then just use my finger to press it in so it's not so strong. This is making my eyes go very red. Ooh, okay. Actually, maybe I can make the highlight a little bit stronger. Let's just pump that up a little bit more. Yeah, blend that in. Now we're going to move on to mascara and I'm using the Extended Play. I had to cheat and read because you know I always forget the name of this. Extended Play Mascara in Giga Black first on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. And then I go in with my In Extreme 3D Black. In <laughs> what? Why are these names so long? In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. That's the one that I use over the top, but just on my top lashes this time. Okay, so now on to lips. I am using Plum Lip Pencil all over first. And then I'm using some coffee eye pencil just to deepen the lip line a bit more. So now that I've got those two lip pencils on, I'm going to go in with my lipstick and I'm using Mer from MAC over the top. And using the coffee lip pencil just adds like a really cool grey um, vibe like undertone to the lipstick which I really like. And now I'm going to finish off my skin. You know I'm going to add more concealer, I always add more concealer. Just here. Then I take my 224 again and just blend this all away.
Then I'm taking the Dark Mineralized Skin Finish and the Real Techniques 100 brush and literally just sweeping that underneath my eyes. And down the side of my nose. Then I take Dark, which is the redder one, and use it where I use the Bobbi Brown um, foundation stick. And just sweep that all over. For blush, I'm using my favourite, which is Fleur Power from MAC. I've had this one for a very long time. I use it a lot, but it is my favourite blush. And when I use a real blush or not a lipstick, I'm going to use that today. So the same brush. I literally just dust that over my cheekbones. And then just to be extra, I'm going to use a tiny bit of the yellow side of that colour corrector. And go back with my 224 and just create a little bit of a highlight here. And I'm just going to take this and just sweep it through here and make sure this is all lovely and smooth. And then to finish off, I'm going to use a tiny bit of, look how much I've used this. I haven't even had this that long. I've completely rinsed this, but I'm going to use my Pixie Glow Mist. And I'm just going to use it on the sides of my face today, not the middle, so that this doesn't get shiny. So guys, I couldn't get through this video without my little helper waking up from his nap. Could I bug? He's super, super clingy today. He's got a bit of a cold, so he's not his usual happy self. But yeah, this is basically um, the way that I tweet like an Instagram, YouTube hack. How many times am I gonna do this in this video? Um, because I thought, well, there must be a way that I can make it work for me. I know it's supposed to be spring and I should be doing spring makeup, but it's so grey that I'm still in like this autumn winter mode. So that I think that's why I keep wearing cool tones all the time because there ain't no sunshine outside. Mama. <laughs> he's, he's, he's happy again now, which is nice. Uh, all right, sugar bun. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't done one for so long, I've forgotten what I say at the end. Right, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.